effective defensive player? The trust on the coaches having me just letting me be who I am. Uh, defensive system, coming from Cleveland State, running the same system, so allowing me to know what the system we're already is easier for me to just do what I do. So uh, that's the main reason. Am I going into February? This why are you expecting a competition to be like compared to the last few months? Uh, I expect me more physical, more intense. Um, getting closer to the end goal. Everybody had dreams and aspirations, so I feel like everybody would come with their best shot, just like, you know what I'm saying, take away what we want. So I think it'll be more physical, more intense. Dumoy, it seems like a, a lot of your steals have come kind of, you know, going around the backside maybe, kind of kind of reaching from behind, which is something that, that is a little bit risky. I mean, what what goes into that and, and deciding when you can when you can do it and when you can't? Uh, you play on the floor of the game, how the refs call the game, I look at it at home. I don't always try to do it, but depending on how the ref is blowing the whistle, I'll take the risk. Uh, Coach Gates is big on like taking risk and rewards, so he allows me to take that kind of risk. Uh, sometimes I get called fouls, and I still do the game just to you know, just to see. But it's just a risk I take sometimes, and it's sometimes we get a, it's a good reward. Sometimes we get a foul, so it all depends on the, the game and the flow of the game. Uh, along the lines of risk or reward, how would you define what a good shot is for you? <laughs> um, but now, nah, I mean, I got a quick release, so I mean, Coach Gibbs always told me shoot the ball. So, it all, as I said, the floor of the game, uh, sometimes it's bad timing, sometimes it's good timing, but I shoot the shot and label the results. So, that does it. Yeah. Good morning. There was a play last game where Sean picked up the ball, sort of on the right wing. You faded to the left wing. No car set up a screen for you. You got an open three off of that. Was that a design play? Or was that or was that instinct? Uh, it's kind of a design play as far as Sean was. You were in the same play uh, against uh, Illinois when I think Kobe got a dunk and Trey got a dunk. So it's the same play, but I get like we play. Iowa State. Oh, Iowa State. They, they did a good job denying Dre. Okay. So Sean just threw the ball to a spot and I got there. So it was more of a design play, but Sean made some creases and made the right play. Well, you had a few games just where the shots weren't falling. What was the process like trying to get back on track? Uh, just getting mentally, just working on my mental mostly. Um, <clears throat> going through like a slump like that, it's just more about if I'm gonna have the confidence to keep shooting or I'm just going to fall off and not take the same shots and risk I normally do. So that was the main focus, just getting my mental right and getting back in the flow of the game. What, what goes into that for you, getting your mental right? Uh, that's. Uh, like normally I'll stay from basketball for a little bit. I mean, I won't shoot. I'll just go home, relax, talk to my family, stuff like that. I don't really try to be around basketball when I want to the mental state. And one way, when you talk about getting in and out of a shooting slump, obviously you kind of had that the last couple of games with 30 threes in the last two games. But on the flip side, how do you how do you stay hot? How do you kind of stay in that? In that? Uh, I mean, you're shooting the best shot. I mean, it's just, I feel like it's more of a mental state when it comes to shooting. On so I just feel like. Keeping the, man, the right mental and just having the confidence to shoot the same shots. Um, stick my landing, follow through, stuff like that. Don't follow my shot. So that's just a mental part of it. People say a lot of times that, that shooting is contagious, but on the surface, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Like if, if you make one, it shouldn't necessarily be easier for Isaiah to make one or vice versa. But is that something you guys feel in a game? I mean, if, if one or two goes down for you, does it, does it open things for other guys? Uh, I feel like. Is a flood of how the team is built. Say, so, you know, a Carter hit two trees. It makes it easy for me because now they're going to be locked in on him, not shooting more shots. I might get, I might get an open shot where I could take my time and not going to shot. So I feel like it is contagious as far as the team we got. If somebody hit four trees, it's going to be easier for everybody else to get open shots because now the team is scrambling trying to get this one person not to shoot more shots. So I feel like it is contagious. Kind of going off of that, just having Isaiah back on the court, what's it like to kind of have another knockdown shooter? Uh, it's easier. I mean, he makes the game easier for the whole team as far as the play style he has, being a good ISO player. So he just made the game easier for players like me, Noah Carter, Kobe Brown, Dre, Sean, Nick. Just being able to get the ball and make a play, make the right play. So it's just easier for the whole team to flow and get easy shots. Tomorrow, another player that's kind of broken in the lineup in recent weeks, Modiara. 
How impressed have you and your teammates been with this early sort of break in mid season? Uh, well, yeah, my little my little bro. Um, I would say uh, we're not really impressed or shocked with Modiano because he do it every day in practice. Um, but it was just a more of a consistent basis with him. Um, coming from JUCO, I'm a follow JUCO press. I know the, I know how it is to try the transition. It's very hard going into the D1 level. Um, after playing two years on that level, so I feel like he just needs the time and the reps to get his body going. So we're not really impressed. But we feel like he could do more and show more. So we just keep encouraging him to keep doing what he's doing, and the game will come. The one as players, do you guys pay attention to like bracket projections, or is it too early for that, or, or you try to block that stuff out? Uh, I mean, we don't really. Be, I personally don't look at stuff like that. Um, I just live in the moment. I don't even know when, what time the next game is for me. Like, I, <laughs> I don't show when I gotta be there, the time we gotta be there. I don't really look into the future because everything happens for a reason. So whatever happens at that time is gonna happen.